Sunday, Sundays with Danielle, trying to make a easy and healthy recipe for you guys. I'm actually filming this on Saturday and it's about nine o'clock in the morning and I wanna get this started because it's going to be 16 bean soup that we're gonna be making today on the stove. As you know, um, Nutstop sent me a bunch of their products to try and so I ordered from them 16 bean soup mix and so that's what we're gonna be using today to make this soup. It is going to be delicious. We're gonna, my husband and I and the kids, we're gonna go outside and finish raking the leaves and we're gonna have the soup kind of cooking on the stove and it's just gonna be perfect, perfect winter and fall thing to make super healthy and just really, really nourishing and good for you. Beans are good for you if you like beans. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the points. It's going to be three points on blue, five points on green, three points on purple. If you follow points plus, it's five on points plus. I still have to figure out the points for eye track bites. I have a feeling it's gonna be the same as green, which is five. It, those are usually pretty similar. So we're gonna make this on the stove. I hope you enjoy this video. Just a nice, good soup for us to use today. And it's from Nutstop, these beans. You can find these bean bags, not only at Nutstop, but of course in the grocery store as well. So last night I took the bag of beans and I've been soaking them all night in this water. And um, so they're kind of plumping up and doing good. Let me go over some of the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a big stock pot like this to make some soup. Um, you're going to need some low sodium, they call it ham steak. I bought this at Meyer. it's cubed ham, hickory smoked low sodium. So we're gonna be using that, it's all chopped up nicely for us and it's nice and lean. So we're gonna use that. You're gonna need some garlic, salt and pepper of course, some cilantro, some thyme, rosemary, cumin, um, and it's made with water, not with broth. So this is gonna flavor up the broth. Some tomato sauce, my favorite is Hunt's. This is what my mom always used. A green pepper, an onion. I think I picked the biggest one at Meyer last night. <laughs> some carrots, um, some celery, green onions. You're supposed to use kale. This is a kale 16 bean soup. It's a kale and ham bean soup. I could not find kale at the grocery store last night and I really wanted to make this video today and I didn't feel like going to another store. So I'm using spinach. I figure spinach and kale are very similar. S uh, spinach is often in soups. So this might be a good substitute. My husband said they're like sister vegetables, so it should be fine. So that's it. So a lot of the stuff you probably have in the house already, this was not expensive. I think this was around $3 at Meyer to buy the ham. So the meat was not expensive. And we're gonna get started. Enjoy our Sunday, make some nice soup, and just relax. And hope you guys are doing good out there. I'm feeling much better today. I got a lot of rest, and I'm feeling a little bit more like the old Danielle. So you guys, just sit back, let's make some soup, and enjoy our Sunday. I've got the diffuser going, and we're just gonna enjoy ourselves today. See you in a minute. We're gonna go over the stove and start the process. All right, the first step, my beans have been soaking in a um, bowl overnight. We're gonna pour them into our strainer. I think you guys have seen this strainer in my other videos. It's $5 at Ikea and I love it. I can put my vegetables in it and rinse them off and they can dry while I'm getting ready to cook. You can throw dishes in it, pasta in it, and it's just handy. And I throw it in the dishwasher often to sanitize it. So now I'm just gonna rinse my beans here in my strainer, get all the yucky stuff off. And then I believe I'm putting 10 or 12 cups of water into the pan and that will be the next step. And we'll get this cooking on the stove. So there they go. Look how beautiful those beans look. I've got my large stock pot on the stove. I've got it on medium high heat. I've added 12 cups of cold water. I'm gonna be adding the rinsed beans that have been soaking overnight. And we're gonna cook this for about an hour on medium high heat and let it do its thing. And I think I'm gonna work on chopping vegetables next while it does that. And there we go. Bean soup is on the way. There we go.
vegetables are cut, I've got my stove on and we're gonna do two teaspoons of olive oil in a little saute pan. Go. And now I've got four ounces of ham I've weighed on my scale and we are going to add that to the pan and we're just gonna brown this up and bring out the flavors. That way you're not just putting you know ham into it, it's actually gonna be browned up and that makes it taste so much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and brown this up and then I'll show you where we're at next. I switched to a bigger pan because I forgot that the rest of the vegetables have to be sauteed. So our ham is really coming together nicely. It's browning up. Now it's time for the fun part. I love to saute vegetables. Here is our celery, <coughs> green onions, carrots. I'm getting a little frog in my throat. Oops, um, carrots, green pepper, onion, all of that. Ooh, maybe I should have even gotten a bigger pan. And I did plenty of onion because onions because we are trying to flavor a broth out of water. So <clears throat> you definitely wanna make sure it's flavored nicely. I should have used my bigger pan, but that's okay, I'm gonna make it work. Okay, next goes in the cilantro and the cumin. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper as you like. I'm not using, I'm gonna use enough, but not too much. I want to pepper it up good because we're trying to flavor, like I said, a water broth made soup. So all of these vegetables are going to help make the broth taste good. Make sure it's nice and peppered. Four cloves of garlic. I'm just winging it. Make sure you use plenty of garlic. I like these little tubey things. It makes it so easy. I got this little thing off here. Whoops. Hold on one second, guys. Let me get this. Got it. Okay. Well, that looks good. Two thirds cup of tomato sauce. Hunts is my favorite. I say it all the time. It's what my Italian mom would always say. Get the Hunts, get the, or the Contadina. She likes that too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my time sauteing and mixing all these vegetables very carefully without flinging them all over. Get them nice and sauteed. And um, I'll show you what we do next. This is just gonna take a few minutes to do this. There is our backyard. My husband's out there burning some leaves and raking some leaves. I'm in here making the soup. I'll be going out with him pretty soon. Here's a close up. I love the smell of burning leaves. Where we lived before, we could have never done that. So it's kind of cool we're in the country and we can do that now. There we go, soup is on its way. I can't wait, it sounds so good today. There's Manny, he's going to the vet in a few minutes and he doesn't know it. You're gonna be okay. Oh, there's Muffin. It's gonna be okay, Manny. It's gonna be okay. We love you. All right, the beans in the water have been cooking for an hour. We're gonna add all these vegetables very carefully so we don't splash and hurt ourselves. Get all of that in. Whoops, I'm always flinging stuff. And by the way, I always have an empty dishwasher when I start these videos, and that way while I'm cooking, I just continuously add things to the dishwasher so it's not a nightmare. I've got it running right now. And now we're gonna add Rosemary and thyme, you're supposed to use sprigs. I didn't feel like getting into all that expense, so I think I put a tablespoon of each, a little under a tablespoon of each. Maybe I need more, who knows. We're gonna add that. <clears throat> Stir that. This smells good. I don't know about you guys, maybe I'm a total weirdo, but there's something therapeutic about making a big pot of soup or a big pot of spaghetti sauce. And I don't know, I feel very relaxed making this today. I've got the candle going. And I hope if you guys make this, you feel the same way. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn down the heat. Let me just double check my instructions. Lower heat to medium low. Medium low. Cover it. We're going to cook it for an hour. So I'm going to put 60 minutes. Okay. And we're going to stir it now and then just to make sure nothing's sticking and just let all the flavors come together. And then at the end, we add the spinach or kale, whatever you're using. So go relax. Go do your thing. Let's let this cook for an hour and I'll see you in a little while. All right, the soup has been cooking for an hour. I've been stirring it here and there. Let me take the lid off. It's super hot. Woo. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna turn up the heat. Let me see, they say to turn the heat to medium high. Medium high. And we're gonna let it cook on medium high for about 15 minutes. I guess this is supposed to thicken up the beans and make sure they're all cooked thorough. So for 15 minutes, let me set my timer. There, 15 minutes. We're gonna let this cook on high for 15 minutes. And then we're going to add the spinach or kale, whatever you're using. So we are in the home stretch. It smells delicious. It's a beautiful day. 
I'm in love with the soup. I can't wait to try it. So healthy and soup good. Soup has been cooking on high for 15 minutes. It's really thickening up. It's time to add the um, spinach. Um, this recipe calls for kale. I couldn't find it. So I'm using four cups of spinach, which I think should be just fine. And we're just gonna wilt this down and continue cooking it with on boiling now for another 15 minutes and make it wilt down and nice. This smells so good. I've got Pillsbury biscuits cooking in the toaster oven um, and I'm gonna have that with soup today. So I will show you when it's all plated. See how it's all melting down. You get some nice greenery in here. So homemade, so healthy, super good. See you in a few minutes. All right, soup is done. It's been cooking on the stove all afternoon. This house smells amazing. It's just, I cannot wait to dive into this and try this. Here it is in a nice bowl. I use spinach. You're supposed to use kale. I think spinach is totally fine to use as a substitution. It smells, smells so good. I mean, I cannot wait to try this wholesome, wholesome lunch. I also cooked a Pillsbury Grand Biscuit. These are four points that I can have with the soup. So if you're following the iTrack Bites program, um, it is uh, five points as well uh, for the soup and four points for the biscuit. So let me review again the points so you guys know. Blue is three points. Green is five points. iTrack Bites Conquer Cravings is five points. Purple is three points and points plus is five points. And there's 10 servings for this big pot of soup that I've got today. And I wanna thank Nutstop so much for sending me all these quality items that they have sent to me. This 16 bean soup, I will just, I will definitely be ordering this again. There's a link below and you can get 10% off your order if you're interested. I don't make any money if you order anything. I just wanted to make it available to you guys that they're offering that to um, my viewers. So 10% off if you're interested. I will definitely be buying this again amongst all their other things that I've been trying that I've really enjoyed. So I love Nut Stuff. I can't say enough great things about them and their customer service. So here it is, some nice bean soup with ham and kale or spinach, however you want it. Just a nice little easy thing. I also have a playlist of soups because I love making soups. So check that out if you're looking for some more soup recipes and they will be there for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family like I say every time. And thanks all again for all of your support. I'm so glad to have all you guys and know all of you and I'm just grateful. So thank you so much and enjoy your Sunday. Bye, honey bunnies.